briefly i was part of the ashirwad crisis as well where you must have seen the the aata crisis where the the whole elasticity the gluten part of it was taken into a, a wrong part and people said there are plastic in it so at that point in time i think we took help and we went all out because it was a national crisis hello and welcome everybody to career talks with mentoria my name is nikhar arora i'm one of the founders and ceo of mentoria our passion has always been to help you discover yours and through these podcasts through these webinars and talk shows we want to give you a very very realistic understanding of the career that you're getting into the more you know the more informed your career and educational decision making process today we're going to have an incredible conversation on the world of public relations and building a career in it and we have with us a very very special guest please welcome sonia sari she's done her ma in advertising and public relations and has about 17 years of experience in the industry she's currently working as a head of group corporate communication at tata power ddr her incredible work in this field has awarded her a mention in the e4 mpr and corporate communication 40 under 40 list welcome sonia and thank you so much for taking the time out and joining us for this session today thank you i am happy i am it's all my pleasure to be here and talk to all the people who are there sonia could you share a brief introduction of yourself your work and your journey so far and how it's been uh, it has been a long journey so won't be able to wrap it up in one question uh, but yes um, PR professional for about 17 years as you mentioned i'm a mother of a 13 year old i'm a pet mom i have my own interest and uh, you know kind of things that i like to do uh, work wise agencies and marketing corporate communications all that i have explored so yes i have been able to taste pretty much everything which comes under this pr sector uh, yeah so i'll be able to kind of share what i have been through the good and the bad the ups and the downs yeah so i will be able to kind of share all my experiences and maybe that helps you pick take the right decision maybe so uh pr as when i started to now what pr is when i started it was just a, another job where you kind of talk to uh, the target audience but now things are getting deeper and becoming more specialized a public relations is basically you know you kind of talk to the audience internal and external when you are with a company you have a set of audience you know it's quite clear but when you are with the agency you are working for the client whichever brand or company and their consumers are your target audience so you need to think through you need to know uh how and what mediums through which you can reach out to them uh you can't really have an odd mix uh if you are working for a lifestyle brand you can't go to villages or small towns only if that's the market they're wanting to explore so we are more like we are more like gatekeepers of information we create the right kind of messaging which needs to go out to people so we help these brands these companies or the company you are working for to kind of establish that it is uh, extremely important as i said that you need to a brand need to reach out to a set of target audience one internally and externally you need to pick uh, the right kind of mediums how you can reach so it is very important i think over the period of these 17 years uh, a lot of brands and companies have realized the importance the significance of public relations or public relations managers or corporate communications for that matter and uh, uh, including now that it's a digital media you have so much to explore and there are so many ways to actually reach to your end consumer so yes pr plays an important role when it comes to what you want to say to whom okay uh, see like lot of other kids i was not sure of what career i want to pick 
my father really helped me it's not that pr i was like always wanted to be in pr pr was not even there remotely in my you know around me or what i was thinking i always had creative bent of mind i was into theaters music and i wanted to do something there but my father was more into academics and he wanted me to have a stable career after suggesting plenty of things i think pr and advertising happened to me i thought i will get into advertising but while studying my uh, while i was doing my masters i realized that i'm more a pr person i like to talk to people i like to share in terms of you know the kind of right kind of pitch tell them stories understand the storytelling part of it a uh, connecting with people building relationships i think that is what i explored about myself when i was studying if you know that you one you are an extrovert you like to write content you understand uh, what what any other consumer would want you put yourself in their shoe put yourself in a client shoe or a product or a offering or a service and you know how to get that to the right kind of people i think that's the career you can choose and uh, over the period of time pr has become really important for brands so uh, you have a lot of avenues where you can go learn uh, get into the minutest details of it because there's digital there's content creation there's so much that you can do under pr it's not like a a, a very small sector it is growing multifold so advertising marketing pretty much because marketing is actually the the larger uh, topic here and pr lands under that and digital also lands under that and advertising also lands under that because marketing is basically way how you want to take your communication to the right kind of audience some wants to take advertising which is a paid medium when you open the newspaper you see several ads and you see some articles so when you see the ads those are paid for space you've paid to get that space and have the right kind of content over there which could be in terms of a picture or written text or the right kind of usps mentioned all of that when uh, uh, opposed to that when you see an article where there is a proper storytelling there is product usps mentioned by giving some example there is a credible resource that has commented on on or maybe a, a ceo of that brand is talking about it telling what their marketing strategy or their strategy in general is that is your earned media earned media is a, absolutely different from paid media the ads that you see a lot goes into creating that but when it comes to an earned media which is a pr article a pr executive will understand it write a story pitch it to a right journalist there are several journalists in a publication who write on different different sectors you need to pick up the right person you pitch that story they will come back to you with questions and you will pay nothing but the story is what you give it to them and that converts into an article which which is so basically it's paid versus earned paid is advertising and earned is your what you have earned through your relationship or the story so that's the difference between advertising and pr digital has opened up and that's also another avenue to reach out to your consumers to whosoever you want to whosoever you want to sell or tell a story or create awareness or whatever your end objective is but in the current times digital has is becoming something where you can actually leverage that and and in lesser time you can reach out to the large number of people the most important in the current times is language because it's all about talking and writing and creating and strategizing nobody can teach you how to strategize you need to be able to comprehend what the other person wants out of you and create a strategy create a plan and then execute it so language is something which comes the first 
if there is anything in terms of your bent of mind that you are more towards uh, creative or technical or IT or whatever else that you can learn, even digital for that matter. These days you have so many short term, long term courses for you to pick. So yes, that is an added advantage if you want to learn that. But English or language or any other language for that matter, if you are staying in a, um, you know, maybe South India, you have the proficiency on a certain language. It's not that newspapers are all about English language, but regional as well. If you can understand the the the, the audience out there, and you are okay with your own language, you are strong enough to be able to pitch reach out to that audience that's also fine but english is something that if you want to really um pick a job in a large firm in large pr firm in any of the metro english is something which is mandatory so wherever you feel that you're lacking start working on it like now so that when you actually uh, go for your uh, pis and gds and all of that when you're going for an entrance it will help you As I mentioned earlier, now you have a lot of avenues, you have a lot of courses that universities are offering. So MassCom, yes, of course, because it covers pretty much everything that falls under PR and all of that, PR, advertising, journalism. Uh, there are specialized courses like I did masters in advertising and PR. So there are specialized courses, there's digital uh, transformation courses that you can you can go for, but masters is an option that you can or you can do specialized courses but, but uh, bachelors is is a must you need to be a bachelors if you really want to and i think um, getting into something like a specialized course helps you understand the concept you can only understand the concept while you are in the college but uh, on the job learning and the, the things that you have learned when you are studying will be able to you know progress faster Someone who's just done a regular uh, bachelor's will probably struggle compared to a person who has done mass comm because your concepts will be absolutely clear when you are going for a job. So I think bachelor's is a must. PhD again is up to you if you really want to. I have not thought about it yet because I've never got time to uh, you know, think about doing a PhD, but masters up to masters, I think it's good, but do pick up small, small courses as well if you if time permits and uh, keep adding to your profile whatever new that you can uh, if you want to work see it's up to each person there are people who want to explore career abroad if you really want to explore your career abroad i would suggest then there's the us uk spain italy you can go study there and work there and come back to India if you really want to. If you're learning, studying in India, I have seen a lot of my ex-colleagues who have worked in India or rather studied here and now are working. But that's a journey that won't happen in two years, three years, four years time. So if you really want to work outside, I would suggest go outside and study. And if you want to work here and gradually see how the world opens up, the PR world opens up for you. Uh, that's a different thing, that a different story that you'll explore over the period of time. But there's no this thing that, uh, because see, when you're studying PR, you're also studying about consumer behavior. Now, every country, the audience, the population behaves in a different manner, have a different consumption patterns. Studying here and working somewhere else, you will have a, a different struggle altogether to know the audience. Because eventually everything that you're doing, your communication is going to some end set of consumers or, or audience. So that struggle, if you want to cut down on that struggle, it'll be good if you be there and study there and work there. It will just shorten the journey. So uh, there are a lot of skills, it all depends on what you want to explore because uh, these days for digital you have a lot of short term courses, 4 months, 5 months, 6 months, even for like a, a year 1.5 uh, kind of that kind of setup, digital is covered but it is covered uh, to an extent that you understand it, not really deep diving into it. 
so it is up to you content uh, creation is something that you can learn digital is something that you can learn even uh, adding certain skills like video making photography all of that is also an added advantage if you want to kind of get into pr because yes these are the skill sets that people want to uh, want you to have in them uh, and and kind of help uh, you can help the brand you know have uh, work around uh, things so that they don't have to depend on a like, outside vendor for photography or videography and things like that okay first let me just clear a corporate communications person versus a, an agency person person who's working for an agency a corporate communications person is basically someone who is working with the brand directly or the company directly being part of that company they are getting in touch with their internal and external audience taking out the the right message whatever the last message that you want to communicate to the you know from uh, bridging the gap between your leaders to your last mile employee to reaching out to your consumers whosoever your consumers are that's one part of of corporate communication within which you have branding you have social media a lot of other things to help you reach your your last consumer or the last person that you want to communicate when it comes to crisis management me being a corporate communications person i can't uh, get away with a crisis if there is a crisis it is going to land on my lap and i will have to handle it uh, even if i have you have people to help you consult brainstorm discuss but that strategy because crisis is not something that will give you a heads up it will just land on you and you need to understand things which probably while you're studying you will get to know a little bit you will get to know about x crisis or an ashirwad crisis or a a maggi crisis that will at least help you understand how the brand handled that crisis but unless and until you actually land into a crisis you wouldn't know because there's no uh, one fit all solution in crisis so th- that those are the things those nuances you will learn on the job but crisis when it comes to a corporate communications person it percolates down to an agency because eventually the agency will have to become the hands and legs for the corporate communications person to make sure that the right kind of message is uh, distributed to the right kind of media people or maybe a digital crisis or any other crisis for that matter i have in my career have seen all sort of different different crises chota bada everything and uh, i think there was no one one rule to that crisis everything every crisis was a different crisis and it just with some seniors along with you the team along with you you kind of learn to uh, to kind of find a solution towards that crisis not every time the solution is going to work for you sometimes it will work for you sometimes it will put a stop to that crisis and sometimes it will just spread and be all over so as i said there's no one fit solution to to crisis there have been as i said there have been plenty and uh, and uh, can't really think of one because there have been different different so when i was an executive the crisis used to you know you kind of land up doing something which is more like where you're not directly facing it but you're supporting your seniors uh i was working for a while i was at a, in one of the agencies there was a oil brand and uh, there was a, it was a regional uh, oil brand cooking oil brand and there was a kind of a, another fake brand they were selling uh, their brand exactly with the same look and feel color everything so that people cannot really make out whether it's a genuine brand or a a fake brand so when we found out about it we we kind of created that kind of awareness that how to identify the right brand and uh, did multiple rounds of awareness campaigns uh, giving consumers or telling consumers that how to identify uh, a lot of road shows to do that that what is the fake one and what is the original one 
uh, going to national media and regional media because eventually the product was getting consumed at the local level but telling the national uh, publications as well that there is something like this counterfeiting is something that has been there in our country that people just come up with something which is so identical to an existing popular brand and they they kind of make money out of that so that was a long exercise briefly i was part of the ashirwad crisis as well where you must have seen the the aata crisis where the the whole elasticity the gluten part of it was taken into a wrong part and people said that there are plastic in it so at that point in time i think we took help and we went all out because it was a national crisis we went everywhere every city town and i think handling local journalists is more difficult than managing national journalists national journalist would uh, one story and you're gone but regional journalist can actually harm your brand more than a, the a national story because uh, to convince them to first understand what language they would prefer to be able to write the right kind of thing to convince them that no this is the right thing uh around crisis there are a lot of things that that one needs to do and i think the best is as a copcom person or as a pr person to uh create a kind of a booklet for yourself or steps to follow if you land up in a crisis so create scenarios know how an, a, a one x scenario can be handled at least you will have a, a a you know a guideline or steps to follow if at all even if a similar crisis appears you would know that there are certain steps that i can replicate but not all of it but yes this is something uh, creating the crisis scenarios and preparing yourself well in advance so that you can refer to that document later i think that's something which is important and we have done that we have done that for our brand as well whichever the brand was i don't want to name that brand right now while we were studying the internship uh you know options were very limited so our college used to you know help us maybe attend a uh or ad shoot or talk to a movie director or interact with a radio jockey to know how to write scripts or a news reader or a, a, or perhaps journalist so uh that was the only way i could know that how or what actually goes into being that of uh, having that profile but now in the current times i think uh, because of the social media and so much that you can you know search and read and all of that i think it is slightly easier also a lot of colleges these days uh, letting children take up internship during they are studying so after your first semester you can if you are doing like a two year uh, masters or anything like that you do get even colleges try and get you placed uh, for small one month two month internship uh, if you know what you want to do i would suggest go for a firm and take up an internship if it is an agency for example go look for an agency or ask your college to help you get two months internship in that agency Uh, in any of the agency for that matter when you are there please observe people read as much as understand what sector actually you want to get into because from there you will be able to know because these days you don't have one agency or one large setup you have niche agencies you have smaller agencies agencies who are handling one set of sector i know there are agency who are doing just restaurants just designers just it startups so you first need to know where you want to go and these small small internships at various companies will kind of help you go work for a large brand be part of their corporate communication so that you know how corporate communications work so that when you are the other side which is agency you would know that what are the nuances they go through because it's easy for someone sitting the other side and complaining are yaar they don't do anything uh you know it's very easy to say that and you will hear your seniors saying and cribbing about a lot of things please go for internships small small roles wherever you can don't think of um stipend or anything like that but it'll be good take it as a learning take it as after two years of your completion what path you want to take under this broad pr you know arena because 
otherwise it's very difficult otherwise you'll just land up somewhere you will start working and you will feel that probably you know you you're not really getting it or you're not able to find the right thing within pr so it'll be good if you take up internships when i did my internships i was lucky enough because it was not a big agency a relatively smaller agency so i was handling a client when i was in, i was doing an internship whereas my other friends got through a large agency they were busy uh, cutting clips they did nothing during their internship apart from uh, cutting you know those articles and pasting them on a piece of paper so that's the difference if you ask me uh, this is my personal opinion because i have i have experienced uh, working with an agency uh, helps you know a lot of sectors they make you do a lot of different kind of things event management writing content talking to media writing a story pitching a story you know so many things is it is when you are working for a brand uh, your knowledge and understanding will only be uh, around that sector or what the brand is doing uh, so i think going moving to an agency is just going to open doors in terms of what you can pick in the long run after gaining experience in an agency for about 2 years 3 years you can think of moving to a corporate side but uh, you don't have too many designations in corporate you know you have limited set of team members people don't leave the job so it's not really that you will keep getting opportunities there but in in agency you can after 3 years 4 years 5 years you can look for something where you you know your your interest lies so i would suggest picking up an agency at the beginning of the career will help you know because that's the initial time of your career where uh, it is important for you to know what you want to do you to be good at content writing focus on content writing these days content writers are in demand every agency wants a separate content writer they are servicing people but the content writer then they, they need a separate one and uh, so you know when you are in the agency you will be able to explore that better than just being uh, uh, in in one one company or a corporate for that matter you can actually get into media media buying you can get into advertising if you want if not just pr pr that you have studied because mass comm covers pretty much everything even journalism for that matter broadcast journalism a digital uh, digital marketing or even there is digital pr as well so yes you can explore these as well no i don't i won't suggest that i'm being absolutely candid guys um to manage celebrities to manage ind- individuals you need to have that kind of experience you can't st- start off your career managing people uh, when you know you have not really uh, have understood how things work there are freelancers you can after gaining certain amount of experience you can become a freelancer and take projects small projects or do a pr for individuals that's also fine but only after knowing how things work how pr works but content writing is something that i have which is absolutely which is under pr but then that has uh, there are a lot of jobs these days when it comes to content writing now there are full size agencies within full size agencies there are verticals verticals as in consumer vertical technology auto every sector if it's a really large leading agency they will have verticals where there will be large teams servicing those brands because one vertical will be able to understand that sector better than any uh, any others there is an it technology vertical as well there are multiple there you will learn at a not a very faster speed is what i feel but that's i'm just talking about my experience that's what i feel because i have i have done it in a different manner i was exposed very early in my age and i was not really sitting and cutting clips uh, or c- cutting newspapers for that matter
No, I wouldn't name any, but there are uh, there are leading public uh, public relations firms like uh, Avian V and At Factors and Weber Shanwick and Genesis. There are big; these are large agencies. There are mid-sized agencies. So, give you you know at an early stage, maybe first year of your uh, job, you will kind of get to manage clients and interact with clients and all of that. So, um, I don't want you guys to restrict yourself in terms of large or small or boutique or this. it is very important to know what you want your interest especially i uh, when i started off i was doing very basic because that time it was banking sector was something which was like there ipos were happening but my interest wasn't there so initially i spent that time doing that then i landed in an agency where i got exposure to working for a um, airline brand um, appliances consumer Uh, a a a a phone brand like a PDA brand. I had no interest in PDA, but I could manage to work for that brand, uh, send out the kind of right USPs, right kind of audience, create that kind of awareness for a phone which was fifty thousand rupees back then, and I could manage to do that despite of knowing that IT technology I don't understand anything, but it was not it was a lifestyle product. So yes, it is very important to know what you want. lifestyle i felt was very exciting uh, you know uh, meeting celebrities using them as influencers to reach out to your audience uh, you know a, a lot of interesting work came my way that time and from there i think i could establish the base that this is what i want this is what i can actually do or explore uh, under pr or whatever the job i am doing not the first two years but a little later than that okay so you will land up doing when you actually start as an associate in a pr agency or an executive account executive popularly known as uh, the the freshers who join uh, you will see yourself reading a lot of newspapers you will be uh, handed over you know a list of clients x client y client godrej this that whatever when you know what sector they are into or what products they offer you will have to map their competition to know what your brand is doing what others are doing so that you know you know the trend the trend in that particular mm-hmm. sector you will land up writing a lot it's a busy day it's not a picnic at all uh, pr is considered to be the most stressful job across the world that's what i have read i have experienced as well uh, so reading writing uh, strategizing brainstorm and a lot of other things in terms of and taking a lot of heat from the client please i am warning you there are clients who do not understand how pr works so you will have to take heat at times from the client if there is a delay you need to meet the timelines there are very tight timelines when when you know a client wants something there are a lot of presentations that you'll have to work on to give them the right strategy on a certain products and it's not like that you've made it and given and it's done it just keeps coming back and forth there's a lot of back and forth that happens you go meet them you get a brief brief changes you know bahut matlab it's just too difficult at times and there are moments when you feel you are where have i land up but yeah but that's what and that those are the instances where you learn from you know that yes you can push you can do a lot you can uh, you know uh, take that challenge and and kind of shine through so uh, i'm not trying to scare anyone over here but yes there is a lot that you need to do when you are uh, in pr or working for a client which is a, a a demanding client or a demanding sector so yes pretty much everything is interconnected here so uh, when you are like first two years three years you are supporting the seniors in your team uh working you know doing things that you know uh, writing and all of that your drafts may not be 100% so those goes to your seniors and from there goes to another senior and all of that after spending 3 years 2 2 to 3 years 
you you become more like a, a senior executive or a senior associate uh, you then have a team so your leadership role and your delegation uh, you know the the the, the nag that you need to have starts from there when you are working for someone you are you know uh, reporting to someone to having a reporty to yourself that's a that's somewhere where you need to draw those lines in in terms of how much i have to do how much i have to get the work done after being a a, a senior executive for about a year or two you become a you know a so come coming closer to being an associate manager where your responsibility gets because you become more a client facing person you go take the brief from the client you come back you work you work on things and you pass it on to your senior so that you know that what you are doing is right by maybe by 5 or 6 years you become a pr manager actually and there becomes your responsibility becomes a little more because you have a team to handle team to get the work done client to manage get the work from the client and pass it on to the right kind of people identify what your team members can actually do for you not everyone can do everything like i had a team where uh, some could write and some couldn't write but they were good at pitching the stories so as to get the writing work done from one person who was good at it while get the pitching done from the other people and they could get me more opportunities because they were like very fast and you know had that knack to it that they can get in touch with the journalists they made friends and relationships with the journalists so getting the right, uh, written work from one and passing on to the other so that both are able to uh, enhance what they have simultaneously work on things that they probably are not good at so someone who was good at writing was not able to pitch so i used to give time to them while people who could pitch but not write has to give them time to write so all of this needs to it is uh, there's a lot of responsibility on a pr manager to be able to you know help their team members so after becoming a manager then it's a journey where you start getting into new business a, a setup will only survive if there is business coming your way and uh, you need to identify what kind of clients you want high paying clients small clients uh how to pitch what to pitch uh in terms of how to get that business how to sustain that business retain that client all of this will come to you when you you know kind of cross 6 7 years and post that it becomes more strategic than execution execution uh for that you have the team members but strategic sitting with the client brainstorming in terms of what they want what is their short term objective la- uh, long term objective what can be done at this point in time versus is what can be done uh, maybe 7 months down down the line so that happens when you have like 8 years 10 years 12 years ex- of experience so every stage you will get to do something different add to your own profile um uh, yeah i think uh, that's how i would break uh, the whole journey of pr from one year to maybe 10 12 years the responsibility becomes larger when you have more experience because your team will not be held responsible for everything if things goes wrong you are the face you need to take that the team will only be able to support the, the juniors will only be able to help you do that but things go if at all things got forbid things go wrong you need to take that and there are times when you might just lose the client or lose client's faith so the responsibility becomes higher to retain business uh, is more when you have more experience than less because that's just another client that you are managing two clients three clients whatever when you are at a two year three year five year uh, experience bracket uh it is uh, it is different with each agency agency setup because uh, agencies uh, will pay large agencies will be able to give you that progression because their income is steady whereas small agencies keep uh, working towards getting more clients so that the the uh, the end you know the the finances are met by end of the year and so that they can give you better uh financial support or can't say support but uh, your growth in terms of you know money monetary growth and all of that so that again it it is different a large agency would give you a decent package at the beginning which could be 
a three lakh up uh, annual I'm talking about per annum. Whereas a smaller agency will give you better experience but a lesser lesser cost because they don't have that much of money to invest uh, onto like freshers and all of that. They would want more freshers but not at a decent money. But they'll give you a lot of ex- experience. So every uh, agency or every setup would have a you know there will be pros and cons to it. If you're just looking for money, go for a large agency. Then don't think about ki main kya seek raha hu. What am I learning? But when you really want to learn, if you are if if you land up in a mid-size agency, stop thinking about money. I know money is important, but money is not everything. What you gain, what you do, will eventually put you in a in a place where you are earning uh, as as per standards or a, how much you want. But money is never enough. It's never enough. The the how much you get, you always want more. But I think what you can concentrate on the initial years of your career is learn learn and learn sectoral knowledge and all of that is more important i would not really want to comment on because i don't want people to have uh, you know some notions in their head that if i'll go here i'll get more money and if i'll go because eventually everyone is working for money but i am not that kind of a person who will propagate that or would want the audience to think of As I said, initial is three lakh plus, but then it is all about your growth, how you grow in that firm, how you, uh, and there are a lot of factors. If your client is retained for a longer period of time, there are higher chances of you getting a promotion or a hike. If you lose clients, there are chances where you may not be able to get a promotion or a decent hike because. if you lose a client it is you know the 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 onus will be on you you know so there are a lot of factors hence i don't want to like really go into the details of the pay scale here all right so uh, maybe not details maybe some ranges you said you start off with about 3 lakhs could be lesser if you're working at a small agency right after you've completed or when you're in the 5 to 10 year range in the world of pr what could a ballpark figure be from a growth perspective it would be somewhere around 8 to 10 per annum 8 to 10 to per perfect annum. and as a person goes in the 10 to 15 plus years because then you're a seasoned professional and how you negotiate matters a lot right but approximately what could it go up till as you said it all depends on your negotiation skills <laughs> <laughs> okay but sky's the limit there's no yeah, yeah, there's absolutely. no uh you know a uh, maximum line that uh, that that anybody can put to it no uh what if if you land up working for cadbury's you will have best of money and if you land up working for a for a i don't know for a regular small brand somewhere uh, or maybe a, a, a b2b fitting company or a cement firm i don't know it will be different so it is going to be different with the every sector uh how the sector is doing uh, the market dynamics there are so many things there are a few i won't say and every sector has so uh in pr i think uh, what i have faced is uh, clients not knowing what pr executives or managers do and having unrealistic expectations out of pr that you know this age journalist you will be able to turn the story around no it doesn't happen it really doesn't happen uh, i can have best of friends in uh, uh, you know in the journalist fraternity but they're not going to write uh, falsify information anything which is not correct or not right uh, everyone wants to sensationalize the story but uh, taming it down or anything that i can only push from my end but if if your brand has damaged x number of people please do not expect me to turn that story around so these are little little things that is very difficult and at times are very frustrating because when you see that you know the other person is not able to know what you do or are having uh, expectations which are unrealistic it adds to your frustration and that has i have seen that throughout my career that uh having you know sometimes clients have these uh, they don't give time there's turnaround time is absolutely nothing in their head they have given a task they want you to 
get back to them within like 20 minutes 30 minutes at times so there's a lot of pressure all the time throughout you don't have saturday sundays and again i'm not scaring you there are times when you're partying and enjoying with the client and everything is going fine and hunky dory uh, you will be you know it will it will be more like a but you do a good work like good article and all of that today you'll get a mail very nice thank you for your effort the very next moment you will have a larger task to handle so don't think that you've done one and it's done and sab sahi hai no no it doesn't work like that you do good and then eventually you know you will keep getting something or the other where you will feel that they are i just did this i just finished this you need we i need a breather you may not really get that breather uh, so again uh, be prepared you should be able to take that pressure and uh, shine through it's okay it's okay if you make blunders if it's okay but please be honest to your seniors please uh, tell if you have made a blunder because then it will be easy for people to handle that there and then these days with social media even i have seen so many journalists especially during covid time uh, clients were being a little unreasonable and uh, insensitive and they wanted pr people to pitch certain stories which was not really matching with the you know if this second wave was really uh, very hard on people and there were clients who were pushing their agency people to you know i'm just giving an example pushing stories and journalists actually wrote on twitter mentioning the agencies that this is so insensitive so guys you if you have an opinion please state it to your seniors say it there they will probably be able to communicate to the to the agency but be ready to face heat and challenge and difficult situations and pressure and sometimes internal politics as well i think being a, a little bit of you know that having that curiosity the determination uh, you need to you know be able to research put things together be a little fast paced um, i think these are small small things which you either have it or you don't but you need to work on it you need to work on it if there is a subject which you don't find it very clear please research read pick up the newspaper every day read about you know a uh, sector which you are managing or your client is part of so that you know uh, you are up there as uh, the same level as your client because they expect you to know everything they want you to know how much they know or little more because you are their consultants you are their pr consultant so please make sure that you know all of it if you are in a corporate communication there also you need to know your sector well you need to know what's happening what's happening with the other competition and all of that so you need to be little fast in terms of grasping things and learning things i've put it in a very simple manner i don't want to use heavy word this and that i am making it simple for people to understand that this is what the reality is and this is how you will have to work on it or kind of have those traits in you uh, the advice that i only will give is read i will tell you to stick around to a job for a longer period of time i have seen people hopping from one job to the other just to get a higher pay scale please don't do that because it reflects extremely poorly on your cv stability is something that you can establish initial time of your career uh, if you keep hopping from one job to the other it's not going to uh, help you so stick to one sector that will help uh, work with you know don't work for money but work for uh, in terms of gaining more experience and learning more talk to your seniors talk to your bosses uh read as much as you can these are very small things and i'm sure you already know about it i'm just adding so that you know it and i'm just reiterating kind of thing super thanks a ton for sharing that sonia we will now move to audience questions you know how do you uh let's say come up with different angles something that satisfies the brand or the client and as well as something something the journalist uh might bite so i just mm-hmm. wanted to know your perspective on that it's not like a situation where 
you interact with your leaders i hope you do when you sit through those meetings please be a little attentive in terms of what can convert into a story there could be one you know because stories may not be always an announcement or a funding announcement but from that funding announcement i'm sure you must have gone ahead and spoken about what your plans are what are you going to do with the funding within that break it down chuck it down you know pointers in terms of this one thing that you can uh, talk about or your company would like to talk about elaborate on that that can become a story is there anything in terms of hiring more people if you're planning to hire you know there are a lot of angles that you can explore within that because you mentioned about funding so there will be an expansion there will be plans break that into small small areas pitch it to a specific publication or a writer if it comes to employment only you can go not your tech startup guy but someone else who probably would interested in knowing that this ex startup is going to hire and there will be job opportunities what kind of roles you are looking for so you know you need to deep dive into that subject within and 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 kind of explore i hope i have been able to answer that so i think we definitely talk what you talk a lot about internships and their importance particularly in college so i, I wanted to ask in high school that is grade 8 to 12 where would you say one can find internships and how can our schools help us find and locate internships in public relations why if pr is your calling do some pr for your own school start from there start from there do some campaigns suggest your school uh, teachers that you want to do a, run a campaign maybe telling what good things that your school is doing i would not suggest any internship while you are in school because that that is something that the school needs to decide once you are out of school yes you can when you are studying and all of that that's a different thing but when you are in school maybe do something about your school you can do pr for your school we hope we've been able to give you a deeper understanding on how to build a career in pr if you have any more questions feel free to visit the mentoria website write to us on career helpline uh, at mentoria.com because we're going to be with you throughout your journey of career discovery